Señor Agnew. When I saw the, the title of this debate, my heart lifted, actually. I thought, ooh, a fisheries fund. I wonder what they're going to use that for. Maybe they're going to use it to uh, pay some rent to the, the British government for the use of their fishing grounds. Or maybe they're going to use this fund to compensate Spanish fishermen and other fishermen who are no longer going to be able to fish in British fishing grounds. But I don't get that, that impression here at all. It's just going to be business as usual. Post-Brexit, you continue to plunder our fishing grounds, just as you have done for the last 40 years. I live on the east coast of England, two, uh, near two big fishing ports. They were big fishing ports when I was a child, of course, but they've just gone. A, a, a whole a society and industry has been wrecked by this European Union. And we really did hope, when this referendum came up, that there would be a change. At last! we would be able to get our fishing grounds back. And the fishermen were so uplifted. They campaigned so hard. They had flotillas going down the East Coast, up the Thames, and when the referendum result came in, they cheered and cheered and cheered. But those cheers are absolutely in vain. You have no intention, do you, of getting out of our waters. Short of us putting warships in there, I really don't know what we're going to do. Now, I finish my time and my colleague, Mike Hookham, will continue. Thank you.